Welcome to Our Mountains. I'm Rhonda Brashear. I'm Dean Osborne. And I'm Joel Brashear. And we've been working on an event here in Leslie County called Local Treasures. That's a fundraiser for our community foundation. And that got me thinking, Mom, what are your thoughts on uh, working with the community? Well, as many people know, I've been involved in the Chamber of Commerce for many years. I was president for, I guess, 30 years, something like that. But um, saw a lot of ups and downs, uh, a lot of fun in the Chamber of Commerce. We put on festivals, we had parades, we did fundraisers, and we helped a lot of businesses. So um, it's just a lot of fun, and um, I enjoyed it a lot. I think it's good to give back to your community. And uh, I think it should be our civic duty to do that, to give of our time, our talents, and our money. If you get some individuals together that have that community spirit, you put them together in a group and go forward with that group, like our Leslie County Community Foundation, made up of a lot of folks that want the same things for our community. It's a powerful uh, addition to all the things that are positive about any, any uh, county, town, and everybody that's on the same page, uh, makes it just makes a great contribution. Mm -hmm. Plus it's a lot of fun to work with like-minded people, like you yes. said, and mm -hmm. uh, just get a, have a goal and see it come through. So. Now Dean, I know that the Local Treasures event's near and dear to your heart because we do so much with the Bluegrass School. That's right, Joel. The uh, Leslie County Community Foundation is a very integral part and has become over the last few years an integral part of our scholarship program through the HCTC Kentucky School Bluegrass and Traditional Music. It helps a lot of kids uh, and adults that would maybe not be able to be in college and be in our program uh, take advantage of the things that we have to offer without that. And of course, uh, coupled with several other areas that we're able to help through, it's, uh, it's just vital uh, work, something that we can't replace and it feels good to have other people involved in the success of our students. Well, one aspect of Local Treasures is that we honor Leslie County citizens who've made significant contributions to the community. And one of those honorees this year is Ray Brewer. He's near and dear to all of our hearts. He's someone that I've known my entire life. Mm -hmm. yes. Here's a closer look at Ray Brewer. Charles Ray Brewer has been a lifelong resident of Leslie County and an employee of Hyden Citizens Bank for over 35 years, where he is a key member of the staff. Pretty much anything that uh, needs to be done, I do. I work on computers, I work on the building maintenance, I work on uh, tailor line sometimes. I used to work on tailor line. Um, I work on ordering supplies and uh, approving bills and signing checks. Anything that came along over all the years I dove into and learned pretty much what to do with it or how to do it or how to fix it and pretty much that's led me into where I'm at now. Well Ray's been with the bank for 35 years and since his first day he's been a, a major contributor. Uh, Ray, I guess, if somebody asks him what he does, Ray's the go-to guy. Whether we're uh, doing a community event, cooking, uh, fixing things with technology, uh, working on some uh, issue within the bank as far as its facilities, Ray's the guy we go to. And the, the great thing about Ray is he is amazingly talented in so many different things it's hard to talk about what it really is as far as what he really does or what his really importance is. But I will tell you that the doors of Hyde Citizens Bank opens every day because of Ray Brewer. The, the best thing I can say about Ray, and, and it's the simplicity of how he works, is as we've grown in technology, we've all got frustrated by it. Ray's great tribute for that is this. You'll say, Ray, my such and such isn't working. And his first response is, turn it off and turn it back on. Now, that's not any brilliance to it, but 90% of the time, it fixed the issue. So anymore, I hear him say, well, if I'm gonna go talk to Ray, I'm gonna turn it off and turn it on because that's what he's gonna say first. So uh, Ray's just a key component, and I think Ray really personifies the family atmosphere and the community involvement of uh, Hyde Citizens Bank. 
If you need your plumbing fixed, he can help you. If you need your electricity fixed, he can help you. He can take a car apart and put it back together. He may have some extra parts laying around, but he'll find a place for them somewhere. Ray is very active in the community, helping put together many of the events that folks in Leslie County love to attend. Most all the things I do, nobody knows I participate in, because I do, I believe in the, the Bible says that you, your right hand does not know what your left hand is doing, so I'm behind the scenes on a lot of things that really don't, people don't know. <laughs> the uh, veterans pictures on the street on Veterans Day and Memorial Day. There's you know, just a lot of things like that that people don't really see, but they get done, nobody knows who does it. <laughs> Ray is just an overall good guy. Ray volunteers for numerous organizations, Relay for Life, a backpack program for kids, the pantry, the food pantry, uh, things like that. He just, he's well known throughout the county for his good nature, our biggest one here probably is Relay for Life that we, we deal with. Uh, we deal with the relay. Uh, it's become a personal issue for me. My father died in 1977 of cancer, and my mother-in-law had cancer. My father-in-law had cancer. My mother has had cancer, and I have cancer now. However, a recent trip to the doctor gave Ray some wonderful news. Recently, I've come clear on all my scans, so for the time being, I'm free. One area of Ray's expertise that everyone enjoys is his skill in the kitchen. Ray cooks uh, our meals for our activities such as Relay, uh, our Customer Appreciation Day, uh, and the, on our Relay dinners, uh, or food that we have for Relay rather, he surprises us sometimes with some of the things that he does and sometimes they're a little spicy uh, he loves spices real well. Uh, he tells me that the reason that his cholesterol has never been up is because he keeps it burnt out with spices. And I agree because you can hardly eat anything he fixes if he fixes it right his way. In addition to his work in the community, Ray has a special relationship with a visitor from the North Pole. Uh, Christmas time we do the Christmas parade and I'm special advisor to Santa Claus and getting him here and getting him in, in town. Santa Claus gets here according to how the weather is. If the weather's snowy, we land him on the roof in his sleigh. If the weather's not snowy, I have to go to the airport and pick him up. He, he gets a ride in the airport. Ray is also the minister of a church in Hyden. We have a church here in town, uh, Lord's House. We do Wednesday service and Sunday service. We have uh, always have a dinner before our Wednesday service. And we do Bible studies, basically what Wednesday is. On Sunday at 11, we do uh, services at 11. And we're basically just non-denominational and we all get together and speak about the Lord. It's in the little building right here across from the courthouse. Everybody knows that I guess it's Pace Jury. When I first started here, it was Pace Jury. <laughs> One thing that Ray puts above everything else is his family. I was married in 1985 and uh, we had a son in 87. Ray, for your dedication to Hyden and Leslie County and the countless hours you have given this community, we are proud to say that you are a true local treasure. Thanks, Joel. Great story on Ray Brewer. He's one of our valued community members an even better person. When we come back, we've got original music from Wolfgang Moore on Our Mountains. Don't go away. Frontier Nursing University is committed to better care for women and families. Our nurse midwife and nurse practitioner programs rank among the top in the nation, and our graduates are passionate leaders who serve rural and underserved communities around the world. Frontier.edu. Folks, welcome back to Our Mountains. Now, Wolfgang Xavier Moore not only has one of the coolest names I've ever heard, he's also a very talented singer and songwriter. Now, Wolfgang was a student of mine back when I was in the classroom, and his great-grandparents and my grandparents were very close friends and neighbors many years ago. Now, here's Wolfgang singing a song that I know you're going to love. It's called Good Old Time. Hey, I'm Wolfgang Moore, and uh, I want to thank you again for watching the show, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, 
this song I'm going to play you is actually called Good Old Time, and it's an original piece made by me. Hope you enjoy it. amazing job. I guarantee we'll see that young man again this season. Now, if you'd like to hear that song again or check out some of the more great music that we've had on this show, maybe watch some of those cooking segments you love, even some of the new segments that we've covered, it's all online. You can check out our Facebook page, it's all on our YouTube page, or you can go to our new website. It's OurMountainsTV.com. Everything that we've ever done is there, and I know you're going to like it. Now, when we come back, Mom is in the kitchen making a dessert that is soon to be your new favorite. You don't believe me? If you like chocolate, Coal Miner's Cake is for you. And it's coming up right after the break. Our Mountains is sponsored by Frontier Nursing University, educating nurse midwives and nurse practitioners through distance education. The Kentucky Bankers Association, your association, our commonwealth. The Foundation for Appalachian Kentucky, a community foundation helping donors make meaningful investments in Eastern Kentucky. Learn more at AppalachianKentucky.org. Hazard Community and Technical College. Find them online at hazard.kctcs.edu. And a gift from Mr. and Mrs. Sunshine. Welcome back to Iron Mountains. You know, from Rhonda's Country Kitchen, we've had a lot of great food uh, over the past few episodes, but we're going to focus on my favorite, desserts. This is the coal miner's cake. Miss Rhonda? If you like chocolate, you're going to love this recipe. This is called coal miner's cake. Now, the first time I ever ate this was at the big house at Wendover, the home of Mary Breckenridge here in Hyden, Kentucky, and I had to have the recipe. And this is another one that we sold at Kudzu Corner Cafe a lot, and our customers really loved it. And I want to share it with you today and just show you how easy it is to make the cake. So you use a dark chocolate or a devil's food cake mix, three eggs, and I use my farm fresh eggs grown right here in the county, and a can of cherry pie filling. That's it. No oil, no water. 
Now this is going to be a very stiff batter. So it'll take me just a minute. Don't use a mixer for this. You want to hand mix it because you would crush all of your cherries up and you want to keep those pretty much intact. I don't know the story behind the coal miner's cake. I just know that um, that's what it's called and we love it. Dark, dark chocolate, I guess, is for the coal dust. That's what I imagine anyway. As you can see, it's very stiff but keep on stirring it until all of this is incorporated. You wanna make sure your eggs are all beat in really well. I hear my oven is ready. We're gonna bake this at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes, but just keep a close check on it so that it doesn't burn. That looks good. I'm gonna give my pan a quick spray. And pour it in. Not your typical cake batter, but I promise you this is so moist, it's not at all dry. Now when we come back after the break, I'm going to show you the glaze that goes on top of it, and that's what really makes this cake special. So don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. One voice, unifying banking in Kentucky, our Commonwealth. We are the Kentucky Bankers Association. We are the KBA. The KBA is a nonprofit trade organization that has been providing legislative, compliance, education, and vendor solutions to its member institutions since 1891. The KBA's directors and staff work together with its members to make the financial services industry in Kentucky a more effective and successful place to work. The mission of the KBA is to provide effective advocacy for banks in Kentucky and on a national level. We strive to serve as a reliable and responsive source of information and education about areas of interest to the Kentucky Banker. The strength of the Kentucky Bankers Association is bankers unifying as an industry to speak as one voice. With one voice, we are a commonwealth. Welcome back to Our Mountains. The cake is ready to come out of the oven and then we're gonna make the glaze. So we'll set this over to the side and here comes the fun part. You wanna get your um, heat started about medium high. One stick of butter real butter. And I like to use the salted butter because it just gives it a little extra salty flavor. Salty sweet, which is so popular. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. don't want to fry my butter, I just want to melt it. Now to this you're going to add a cup of sugar. And this is my sugar that I put vanilla beans in, which gives it some extra flavor. Cup of sugar. A half cup of milk, and I use evaporated milk. Just get those started melting. And then Almost a whole bag. I broke into these and ate some of them out, but uh, almost a whole bag, 12 ounces of chocolate chips. These are semi-sweet. You could use the dark chocolate if you want, just any kind of chocolate morsels. Don't scorch it. 
Don't let it boil. Just when the butter melts and the um, chocolate chips melt, it's going to be ready. Oh yeah, it's thickening up real well. You want to make sure that sugar melts too. You don't want it to be grainy. Looks good. It needs to look nice and glossy. It's like homemade fudge. All right, I think that's about ready. So, turn my heat off, and you're going to pour that right on the cake. Oh, mercy. I wonder who will want to lick the bowl. Spread that evenly. Now this next part is optional, but I think the nuts really add to it. So I'm going to add a few chopped pecans. And there you have the coal miner's cake. It is so good. I promise you will love it. Miss Rhonda, that coal miner's cake sure looks good. I wished you'd save me a piece. When we started with the music on our mountains, uh, you generally will see bluegrass, country, gospel, all kinds of acoustic music here. But occasionally here on the program, we like to plug in. With apologies to Bill Monroe, uh, <laughs> we like to feature a really, really good act, Carrie Adams and Whiskey Ridge. You're going to like this song called Lights. Here they are.
Thanks, guys. That was a great job on one of my favorite all-time songs. Now, if you want to hear more about Whiskey Ridge, go to their Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash Whiskey Ridge Band. I'm Nina Harris, and I'm assistant professor at Frontier Nursing University, and I'm also a nurse midwife and a nurse practitioner. At Frontier Nursing University, it's more than an education. It's a calling. Answer the call. You know, I really liked all the music we had this week. I thought it was very good. Seemed like we're getting a little bit more diverse in our music. When mm -hmm. we started the program, we leaned real heavy on bluegrass, which I like, and uh, country, gospel, but uh, right now we're starting to get some different kinds of music mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. I really like it myself. If you uh, would like to see the things that we've archived over the years, go to our YouTube channel, and as many of you have uh, done and subscribed, but uh, we were really excited over being able to add music each and every week from our program, and uh, you can take a look at those. We need to get some more people looking at our we YouTube do, channel. We do, we do. We've got almost 5,000 likes on our Facebook yeah. page, which is good, but we want to increase that too. But we need a lot more of YouTube subscribers, so we're going to have a big contest. Joel, tell us about it. Here's what we'll do. You guys might not know this, but Mom is a very talented quilter. So you see this wall hanging on your screen. We're going to give this away to a YouTube subscriber. If you already subscribed to our page, you're already entered. But if you'd like to win it, all you have to do is go to the YouTube page and subscribe. Now in a couple weeks, we'll put all those names in a hat and we'll pull out a lucky winner and I'll make sure this gets to you before the 4th of July. It's very festive and uh, I think you'll love it. And I will personally make sure that the uh, contest is above board and that Joel does not win. <laughs> that would look really good on my wall. <laughs> well, I could make you one. Do I get a discount on that? No. No host or family. Discount. Too hard to make. I can't oh, catch a bird. No. Oh, well. <laughs> Go to YouTube and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the show. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.